hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to chair care tv where sharing is caring today i'll be sharing with you how i made this unit from start to finish along with tips as to what to do and what not to do when making your unit if you're interested then you will stay tuned and watch this entire video all materials will be listed in the description bar below toodles For this wig, I use a dome cap, a shower cap, one pack of the 4 inch bump feather wrap, and one pack of the 27 piece bump feather, both in the color 1B. I got one pack of blonde human hair that I got from my local beauty supply store, Diamond Girl. It was 8 inches in the color 27. And guys, I got this for $20, so I was happy. You guys know I am cheap. <laughs> I got my scissors, my razor comb that I got for $12 at Diamond Girl, three empty jars, my applicator brush along with my applicator bowl, my colors in a door. There were 30, which is ginger, and 58, which is cinnamon. And I got my flat iron so let's just get straight into this video okay guys so when I took out this hair I realized that it was shedding a bit so what I did was I took three small pieces and went ahead and dyed them and flat ironed them just to see how they would take the color and the heat I mean it was $20 so a lot can go wrong and I just wanted to know what I was working with so I took some precautions I used the jars to add a bit of dyeing them to add up to the hair and this is the result Right now, I am just flat ironing the hair to see how much heat it can take and what the hair can do. As you can see, I'm just trying out different curl methods to see how well the curl will hold. My flat iron was about to 30 degrees when doing this. Now for the fun part. So I went in with the cinnamon dye and applied it to the weft and about one inch in. I did this straight across and then I flipped the hair over and repeated the process. Now guys, if you are as clumsy as me and you still live with your parents, please do this outside. Don't say I did not warn you. Things can get messy, trust me. Then I went ahead and mixed the ginger to the cinnamon reason being the ginger is extremely bright and I did not want something too bright so I used the cinnamon to tone it down a bit. I went ahead and mixed them until I was satisfied and applied it to the ends. Now guys what I did was I applied the dye horizontally and vertically just so that I would get a smoother transition especially since I am doing ombre. I didn't want to see too many harsh lines or block lines when my hair is dyed so i went ahead and did it horizontally and vertically as you could see me doing here it's always best to do this if it is that you don't want to see harsh lines this method gives it a smoother transition Since I will not be doing this wig on my head, I went ahead and took some measurements so that I would have a better idea as to where to lay my tracks. I took these measurements at my ears and at the arches of my eyebrows, or what's supposed to be arches, <laughs> and at the apex of my head. I started off with the 2 inch hair from the 27 piece. I used a couple of tracks from this.
instead of laying these track straight across i did a slight curve that way the hair can kind of overlap the black when i'm finished if that makes sense and i did this for about half of the head hair and then i went in a circular pattern Now for the closure, what I do is I take a track, a section of a track, and I split it in two. This would help it to um, lay flatter when applying it to the head. So you split it, split the weft in two and you cut the thread in between. Try not to cut the weft guys and try not to cut the hair. You add some glue and continue in the same direction and then for the other half you're going to take it and fold it into a small circle and then use your flat iron to press it out. You would see it in the video so pay attention. Okay, so now guys, I take my rack tail comb and I make a zigzag sectioning in the middle of my hair just to give it like a closure effect, more natural effect instead of seeing the glue on the track as you can see here. And then I take my flat iron and just press it out on each side, each four corners or, you know, press it on four sides if that makes sense <laughs> until I get it as flat as possible. However, I realized that at this point, this, um closure was a bit too big so I had to go and take a smaller section from the next track and do the same thing over again to fit into the small circle that I made for my closure but this is just the general concept that I do for all the closures of my wigs so yeah as you can see here I realized that it was too big so I had to go and do another one and just make it smaller Okay guys, so here I am with my new closure. As you can see, it's smaller than the other one. I went ahead and added some glue to the center of her hair and used my rack tail comb to just even it out and then went ahead and applied the closure. Now guys, when doing this, you want to make sure that you do not get the hair in the glue. So you would see me press the weft down and hold the hair up.
it's cutting time so on my mannequin I made some marks to show you guys where my ears would be <laughs> so I went in with my razor comb because it's now cutting time and guys if you're new to this then you would like to use the side with a longer comb or teeth as we Caribbean people may say this is because it doesn't take off as much hair as the other side would and if you're getting then you would like to you would like to be as safe as possible not going in too deep too fast so here what it looks like after I've been razoring for almost 15 minutes <laughs> at this point my razor comb was not doing justice I don't know why but it seemed very very dull and that's weird because I just bought it but it was getting very annoying and I wanted this wig to be done with so I went in with my scissor and I did a blunt cut right around and guys that is when I kind of spoiled my wig <laughs> so don't do like me take your time and use your razor comb and layer it instead of trying to do a blunt cut especially if you're not good at cutting so as you can see, I already cut the hair in a blunt um, cut right around. However, I didn't want it to be too perfect. So I went in and did some point cutting with my scissor. And guys, I also did mess up hair because I was not, I was trying not to get in front of the camera. And, and because of that, I held the hair at a wrong angle and went in a bit too deep. Therefore, you may see some sinkholes or some gaps in between. That's totally my fault. <laughs> Try not to get in front of the camera. The back was not flat enough for me. So I went in with my clipper and just shaved it down <laughs> as flat as possible. Believe this or not, this was actually the first time <laughs> I used clippers. But I got the hang of it quick enough. And went ahead and just thin down stuff and add more layers or texture to the hair. You can see this thing called like right there. You can see it right there, right? Yeah. Big mistake. <laughs> so right here guys, I am trying to take out as much bulk as possible. I did try it on and it was a bit too full for me so I took it off and went in again and tried to thin it down as much as possible. Lesson for me, a lesson for you. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Like I did say with this wig journey, we are all learning so you are learning from my mistakes. I am learning from my mistakes and as we grow with this channel then we would get better and you know improvise and what's not so again lesson for me a lesson for you let's go what I started doing here was I took some hair from the long section that I had in the front and brought it over to kind of cover up the little sinkhole I had there yeah you know you got to improvise these days <laughs> so that's what I did and I just cut a little piece off to kind of hide it or cover it up and I think it was well it was good enough for me it's time to flat iron finally <laughs> so guys as you can see I am flat ironing at an angle and I started at the back of the unit and did this throughout during this process I am um, flat ironing the hair away from my face so you see I pull it away from instead of towards or uh, instead of going straight down I do it away from my face Same thing goes for the swoop, again away from the face. After the flat ironing process, I went and I got my makeup done and got ready. And 
and voila thank you for watching guys if you stayed until the end you are loyal and i hope that i see you again in unit number two and three and so forth feel free to leave your tips and advice in the comment section and remember guys to like and subscribe to check it to me where sharing is caring